Hello, everybody. My name is Chris Curry. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University and an extension specialist in greenhouse and controlled environment crop production with Iowa State Extension and Outreach. This eGrow instructional video is going to cover how to calibrate a pH and EC meter. Why do we need to know how to calibrate a pH and EC meter? Well, your measurements are only going to be as good as the accuracy of your instrument. If we have a pH and EC meter that is not well calibrated, the readings are going to be off and our resulting decisions on crop management based on our pH and EC readings may not lead to the desired result. Every time that you use a pH and EC meter, you want to calibrate it before its use. Not necessarily for each reading, but for each session or each day of reading. So let's take a look at how to calibrate our pH and EC meter. First, we want to turn our pH and EC meter on. Next, we want to take our probe and we want to take off the cap. Now, make sure that you set your cap upright because you should have some storage solution that helps maintain the life of the probe, which we don't want to spill out. Before starting our calibration, we want to take deionized or reverse osmosis water and rinse off that storage solution on the probe to make sure that we're getting accurate readings. We'll start by calibrating the pH readings. So we start by hitting pH and we were already there. Place the probe in solution, completely submersing the probe tip. Here we can see our pH reading is 4.6. However, our reference solution is 4.0. So we need to lower the reading. Using the dial for pH down at the calibration area, we simply dial this down until it reads the same as our reference solution. We've got a 4.0 reading on our meter, and our reference solution is 4.0. We're calibrated on the low end. Now again, we want to rinse our probe tips between calibrations. Next, we're going to calibrate the high end of the readings. This next solution has a pH of 7. You can see that our reference solution has got a pH of 7, but our reading is 7.2. So we need to lower it. Again, we dial back until the meter is reading the same as our solution. You can see it bouncing back and forth, so sometimes it's good to give it a minute or try and bring it a little bit lower. We've got a reading of 7.0 now. Our meter is calibrated for pH readings. Again, remove the probe and rinse the tip. Now let's move over to calibrating for electrical conductivity. So we want to hit our EC reading in millisiemens per centimeter. Finally, we place our probe into our electrical conductivity reference solution. Our EC reference solution has got a measurement of 2.93 millisiemens per centimeter. You can see that we've got a reading of 2.7, so we've got to increase our value. Now, we use the dial for electrical conductivity. Now that our meter is reading 2.93, the same as our reference solution, we can remove the probe and rinse it off. Now we have a calibrated pH and EC meter. In order to keep your instrument in good working condition, when you're done using the meter, remember to turn it off, take some of your reference solution, and refill the amount in the cap. Again, we want to make sure that the probe is submersed in the storage solution. This video is focused on how to calibrate your pH and EC probe to get the best readings. Thanks for watching another eGrow instructional video.